Bryn Elizabeth Anderson, you look so beautiful. I really don't think I've ever seen anything as beautiful as you are right now. But this isn't new. This is what every single moment has been like for me as your friend, boyfriend, and fiance. Connor Scott Kostika, you are my primary source of grace, peace, joy, and goodness on this side of heaven. Because of you, I've gotten a glimpse of the Lord's perfect love for me. You have endlessly pursued me, chosen me, shown me patience, generosity, and sacrifice. Because of you, I look more like Jesus today. Connor's one of a kind. I think the way you treat people in life is your best quality, Connor. You make everyone feel like the most special person in the world when you're talking to them. You made me feel like your best friend from the moment I met you. Looking back, I'm like, okay, it's because you wanted to date my sister. But I see that in the way you treat everyone as well, especially the way you treat my sister. I love how much you are in love with her. I love how you treat her like a queen every single day. I love how you lead her in Christ and are a great example of Jesus to her. Your joy for life is contagious and your life is radiant. I love your smile not only because of the way you have smiled with me on the best of days, but because of the way it's made me smile on the worst of them. One of the next things I fell in love with was your genuineness. I've never met someone quite like you in this way. And I thought at first it was an act, but I've walked with you for two and a half years now, and I've seen this characteristic displayed daily. Party crime. You genuinely desire for people around you to succeed with no hint of jealousy. Hi, babe. You not only desire for people to succeed, but you work hard to help them succeed with no selfish ambition, and often at personal expense. A win for others is truly a win for you. I know that in our marriage, a win for me will always be a win for you. I also quickly fell in love with how deep-rooted and strong you are, willing to stand alone and do what's right, even if it's not the popular choice. You choose to sit with the broken over walking with the great, and I'm so proud of you for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, baby. Woo! <laughs> From the moment I met you, I have been captivated by you. Today is the day I've dreamed of, prayed for, and prepared for from the day you walked into my life. I truly am in awe of this moment and the power that it has. I am in awe of God's goodness and faithfulness to us, and I am in awe of you, my favorite thing in all of His creation. I truly think this is a one in a million type of love. The type of love little girls dream about and people write stories about. But I couldn't have dreamed as big as this or written a more beautiful story. The Lord has given me you and you are more than I could have ever asked or imagined or even have thought to pray for. Today, right now, standing here is the best moment of my life. Not because of how perfect everything is, even though it is, but because you are the one looking back. Oh my goodness. No, you can turn around. Oh my wow. goodness. You're beautiful. Be beautiful as your mother. See, I got that one for the camera. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you look good. Wow. Dress is amazing, but guess what makes the dress? The girl. That girl makes the dress. The day is here, and I'm ready to make these promises to you. I promise to only have eyes for you. You have my attention now and forever. I promise to continually remind you that you are God's handiwork. 
fearfully and wonderfully made to do big things in His name. I promise to encourage you, to forgive you, to honor you, protect you, and provide for you all the days of my life. You are and will always be my number one priority and my greatest joy. I am truly known and fully loved by you. I feel so honored to receive this love and I feel so undeserving of something this good. I don't know how the Lord will direct our paths or what he will give or take away, bless or withhold. But I do know that our marriage will be full of joy and blessing because we serve a good God that is always for us. My love for you is not dependent on my own happiness, satisfaction, and my own effort, but is secured because of who I serve. This leads me to my first promise. I promise that I will be steadfast and unshakable through whatever life brings as I lean not on my own strength but the Lord's. I promise to respect you first and foremost as a child of God and then my husband. And lastly, I promise that a win for you will always be a win for me. I love you, Connor Scott, more than I know how to express, and, but I will spend every day fighting for and showing you how much I adore you, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish you until Christ calls me home. Until Christ calls me home. Bren, you are my best friend. She brings so much joy and excitement to life. And if you also know her, you know how much of an encourager she is and how much she cares about the people in her life. So if you know us, me and Bryn went to Biola together for the past couple of years. And every time after a soccer game I didn't play, after if I was having issues with friends or whatever, I'd always have a note or a letter on my car or in my room from Bryn. Every time. It was always encouraging and always pointed me to Jesus. And she always let me know, know that she thought I was the coolest person in the world. And that's all that mattered. There we go. <laughs> that meant more than you know, Bryn. Connor, I'm so happy that you married my sister. And Bryn, I'm so happy that you married Connor. Lowell and I have prayed for our kids since they were little for the person they would marry. And it was really cool when we met Connor because there was a face to, to the kid we had been praying for her whole life. And I have some really specific things that I've prayed, that he would be a Jesus follower, he would be a lover of God and his word, strong, wise, kind, fun loving, faithful and true, lights up when you come in the room, laughs at your jokes, best friend and biggest champion, and lead the family to the cross with grace and sacrificial love. And these were before Connor came into our family, and I can't think of a specific prayer that could have been more fun. And what I love about you two is that you are very clearly each other's best friends. You know how to have fun together. And I know that you guys will have such a sweet marriage because of that. And I know not only that you'll have a sweet marriage because of how much you love one another, but because of how much you both love Jesus and pursue Him with all of your heart. And the memory I chose is one that I feel best paints a picture of the kind of person Connor has been to me um, and how he's always treated me. Um, and it's a story of forgiveness. And I had messed up again and done something that broke a, a whole lot of people's trust in me. Um, and it was one of those mistakes that you don't just apologize for and you say your sorries and move on. Right then and there, I spilled it all out for him and I'll remember this forever. And these words of him, literally verbatim, um, he gave me a hug and he said, I love you, I'm proud of you for wearing it, and nothing you do will ever affect the way I look at you. And uh, that's the man you get to marry, Bryn.